Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this session, uh, I had a request from Mohammed to do a question uh, from the KCSE Mathematics 2020 paper two. So that is question 24. And that is what we are going to do. It is a probability question and it's a 10 mark question. Right, the question says the table below shows the number of students in each class in a school. The percentage of the students in each class wear glasses is also shown. So we got this information, number of students is all this, from one, from two, from three, from four, and 10% of 60 students are wearing glasses and so on here. And we're asked to say, uh, to determine if a student is chosen at random, uh, what's the probability that the student is in form four? Well, before we calculate probabilities, first of all, we want to add all the number of students that we have. So if you add all these up, then you will get this is equal to 200. So there are 200 students altogether. Now, out of those 200 students, you have 60. Out of 60, uh, this 10% uh, of 60 are wearing glasses in Form 1. So what you need to do is calculate 10% of 60. I'm not going to do, uh, I'm not going to show the calculation of working out 10%. I'm assuming if you can attempt this question, you can calculate simple percentages especially if you have a calculator. So 10% of 60 is just six. So there are six students here who are wearing glasses. And then for form two, 12.5% of 56, that is going to give you seven. And over here, a quarter of them, so half is 22. And if you half again, if you you will get eleven students, and over here, if you work it out, you will get seven students. So if you add all this up, then you will get this equal to thirty one. So thirty one students out of two hundred are wearing glasses. All right. So for AI, then we're asked to say what is the probability that the student is in form four? Well, this is just two free marks where well, we know there are 40 students in form 4 out of 200 so probability as unit is in form 4 is simply going to be equal to form 4 student out of the whole amount which is 200 if you simplify this you will get one fifth Okay, so that is the answer for this one. And for part AII, then we are told to find the probability that student wears glasses. So we have already calculated the number of students who are wearing glasses, which is 31. Uh, so we just need to now say, obviously, show all the working out with percentages, guys. I have done that a bit quicker because I need to get this done this evening. So probability someone, a student, wears glasses is going to be equal to the number of student wearing glasses, which is 31, and divide by the total number of students, which is 200. Obviously, 31 is a prime number. You can't simplify this. And now we're told two students are chosen at random from the school. So two students determine the probability that one of the students is in form one while the other student is in form four. So we want to get two students, one in form one and one in form two, uh, form four. So what I've done here, I've just shown you on the tree diagram, probability tree diagram to just show you uh, what I have done or what I'm going to do. So the first uh, event then is when you select student one, you can get form one, form two, form three, or form four students. And then when you select again, student number two, you have these options again. What you need to bear in mind when you choose a second student, you will have one student less because you have already taken one student uh, on the side. 
you can't have the same student twice. So we want form one and form four. And that's the reason why I have marked this. We want to follow this route, form one and form four. And the other option, so we can have that option or we can have this option. We could have form four and form one, this route. So remember, when we go across the branches of probability, we need to multiply. And then downwards, we need to add. So over here, probability of getting a form one and a form four student is going to be equal to 60 out of 200 because there are 60 students in, in form one. And then once you've selected that one student, you still have 40 form four students, but there's one student less. So we're going to multiply by 40 out of 199. And for the second one, so we can have this route or this route. So probability of getting a form four first, and then you could get a form one student. So from four, we have 40 student, 40 divided by 200. Now, when I select my next student, my form one student, I only have 199 students, but I still have 60 students because my first student was a form four student. So I still have 60 form one students. I'm going to do 60 divide by 199. So if you work this out, then you will get 12 divided by 199. And this one will give you the same because they are literally the same fractions. So now you can say that as you go down probability, remember we have this option or this option. So when we have all, what do we do with probability? We add so we're going to add these two. So probability that you get a form one and form four student is going to be equal to 12 uh, over 199 plus 12 over 199. That is going to give you 24 over 199. All right, guys. So now for the last part, then we're told to calculate uh, the probability that one of the student is in form one while the other is in form four and they are both wearing glasses. So what we want to do literally is probability that uh, you have form one uh, with glasses and form four with glasses, right? And this is could be this choice. So we could get one from one and then form four, the second student. And or rather or okay so you need to pay attention to these and so we could have this or we could have a choice where we get a form four with glasses first so probability that we get a form four with glasses and a form one with glasses all right then so when we have and what do we do with probabilities we multiply so probability of getting form one with glasses is going to be six uh, out of 200 because there are six form one students who are wearing glasses so this is six out of 200 now we multiply that is my first student my second student a form four student wearing glasses there are seven of them, but now I've taken one from one student. So I have one student less, which is now going to be out of 199. When we say, oh, in probability, what do we do? We add probabilities. Okay, so now we want to do form four with glasses. How many students wore glasses in form four? Uh, there were seven. So this is my first choice, uh, first selection of the student. So that's going to be seven out of 200. And then, and here, so we multiply probabilities. My second student is going to be a form one student, and there's still six form one students, but now the total number of students is one less, 199. Guys, if you calculate this, you will get uh, 84 or out of 398,000. And if you simplify this, you get 
21 out of 9950. All right, guys, so this is the end of this question. I hope it was helpful. It was a bit rushed because I was requested to do this uh, today and I've tried to do it uh, as soon as I could. Right, thank you for listening and bye for now.